This screencast video will show you how to download all submissions that students have uploaded to a loop assignment and how to grade them offline using a grading worksheet that you can then re-upload back into the loop assignment in order to have the grades recorded electronically. To begin, on your loop course page, navigate to the assignment in question and click to open it. Click view all submissions. In this particular loop assignment, blind marking has been turned on. This means that students are identified by a random participant number and not by their name or email address. Scroll to beneath the grading table and check that download submissions in folders is ticked. Scroll back up to the top of the grading table and from the grading action menu, click download all submissions. Your submissions will have downloaded into a zip folder. So click on that and your folder of submissions will open in your downloads folder on your computer. Clicking into the folder, I can see that each student has been given a folder with their random participant number in the folder name and clicking into each folder, I can see their assignment, which I can open and read. Having read all of the student assignments, I now need to enter their grades into the grading worksheet. So first I need to retrieve the grading worksheet and I do that by going back to the loop assignment and from the grading action menu, I click download grading worksheet. The grading worksheet has now downloaded to my computer, so navigating to my downloads folder, I can open this document in Microsoft Excel. I may wish to expand the size of these columns, so I can select all of them and go format auto fit column width. I can see in the grading worksheet, the students are identified according to their random participant number. And in the grade column, I can enter in the grade that I want to award students. The final column, feedback comments, can be used to enter in some text feedback for the student if you wish. When finished entering the grades and feedback, I need to save this document. And I can do that by clicking file and save. It's important to keep it in its current format, the .csv format, and it's also important not to change the file name of the document. Now that that is saved, I can close down the spreadsheet and navigate back to my loop assignment. And again, from the grading action menu, I can click upload grading worksheet. I then see a drag and drop box into which I can place my completed grading worksheet. And then I simply click upload grading worksheet. Once I'm happy with the preview, I can then click confirm. And then I see that I have a success message telling me that I've updated eight grades and feedback. So that is four grades for my four students and four pieces of feedback for my four students. Click continue. Looking at the grading table, I can now see in the grade column, each of the students have their grades out of 100. I can see in the feedback comments column at the end of the grading table, the piece of feedback that I have given to them. And I can see that the status is graded. So therefore I have finished grading my students.